this is Olushala Daniel so I'm making this video for those that use cash flow to sell their e-commerce products so if you use cash for cash flow to set up sales funnel for your e-commerce products you might have encountered a particular problem whereby while setting up your cash flow um, on your checkout page your place order button is not displaying the um, total amounts tot total amounts in in carts so this is actually a general problem that you can come across while you set up cart flow and there are several things that could have um, caused the issue so and on um before i go any further if you are wondering what cart flow is i have a video that explains what cart flow is how you can um maximize sales in your business in your e-commerce business using cart flow where you'll be able to set up um a an order bump an upsell a downsell and um and a checkout offer you understand so uh, i won't be um i won't be elaborating much on that on this video because what i want this video to particularly achieve is how to solve a problem which is um if you can't find the amount in your cards on your place order button it's actually a general problem that you can come across so in this case now there are several things that could have caused your place order button not to display your um the total amount of cards you understand so there are several things it could be from from the browser you're using it could be from your browser you're using it could be browser incompatibility maybe your browser is not compatible with um with the cart flow or with the wordpress stuff that's one another thing that could have caused it could be your um your internet connection could have caused it probably your internet internet connection is slow and while while you try to update some settings or while you try to do some things they are not taking effect so you understand so it could be from your your either your browser or your internet connection and it could also be from the permission you you give on your cart flow but this is actually not this particular one is actually not a major problem it's not a major um way of solving the problem it's not a major way of solving the problem so another thing is plugin conflicts in fact plug plugin conflicts is the major thing that that causes this kind of issue you understand probably you have a plugin that you've installed that is conflicting with the cart flow um what's it called the cash flow sequence you understand so it's majorly this issue is majorly caused by plugin conflicts or team conflicts teams maybe you've installed a team that that isn't compatible with cash flow that isn't compatible with woocommerce you understand so it's going to have a kind of lagging it's going to have a kind of problem it's going to have a kind of um a kind of um disruption in the flow which would hinder some things to function optimally so but majorly it's either plugin or conflicts like i said it could be your browser um incompatibility it could be the internet it could be the um user permission but if in one or two cases you 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 were you were unable to resolve the issue using these steps then you might have to contact the support but that's usually not the case that's usually not the case because in most cases if you follow this particular step i want to show you now you should be able to solve it which is the plugin conflict step so i'll be showing you now if you encounter such a problem the first thing you want to do now is you know i said it's it might be due to plugin conflicts and i'll be troubleshooting using the plugin conflict step now you might have installed a plugin that is conflicting the cart flow plugin that is conflicting the woocommerce plugin so what do you want to do you can't even decide which of your plugins are conflicting which now the first thing you want to do is you disable all your plugins all the plugins you have on your wordpress site like you can see here as you can see i've disabled all the plugins i have on this website from a to z all disabled now in order for you to um to detect to detect which of the plugins is really giving you problem then you start activating the important plugins first now what are the important plugins here first off you activate woocommerce which is the primary plugin 
of course if you have an e-commerce store then you should be using woocommerce that's for your online store woocommerce first you check the box this um, dialog box you check it then you want to activate cart flow which is the secondary plugin we need cart flow here now of course you need elementor if you use elementor page builder then you check it if it's um tribe architect you use then you check it now let's first begin with this three now i've actually come across this um, problem several times and i've had people um, ask me question about it so i just decided to make this video and show them how to do it so anybody can just um find it and make use of it you understand so i've been able to check like three plugins now the cast flows plugin the elemental plugin and the woocommerce particularly so now what you want to do next is to activate it activate them rather you activate these plugins so let's let's give it a little time to to activate so let's confirm do we have them activated already okay okay they are activated already deactivate deactivate okay now the next thing you want to do now is of course if you highlight here you should see vc store that means your woocommerce or your e-commerce site is up your e-commerce store is up so i can be sure of that now the problem comes from cart flow not displaying um the amount on the place order button now i've been able to turn off all the plugins now and i'm beginning to turn on the major plugins to know which one is having problem so it could either be either of these many plugins that is conflicting with the cart flow plugin or conflicting with the woocommerce plugin so now i want to start troubleshooting i've i've um activated cart flows i've activated woocommerce and i've activated elementor so i want to go to cart flow straight up so let me go to flows open a new tab so once i get to flows now i would um let me open one of my okay let me add new let me add new in your own case you don't have to add new but let me add new just to show you guys in your own case you don't have to add new you just go back to the flow you've you've set up already the flow you are having the issue with just go back to the flow go back to the checkout page refresh or you reload it you you um reopen it so but in my own case let me re-import let me import a fresh flow just to see but if in your own case and I'm, I'm even very sure that once you're able to follow these steps it's going to be resolved so but i just want to load a new um a new flow now very quickly i need let me see this one okay it has it i don't need an upsell i don't i only need i only need i don't need an upsell i only need checkout and okay i think this one is good so let me import this flow now let me add um a product let me see then okay one of the products i added let's see um <coughs> let's see this okay <laughs> sorry name your flow okay let me say um tyts flow i thought it's telling me to add products i'm used to adding products <laughs> so once this flow is um, done import importing, like as you can see, it's done importing, so it's, it's it's redirecting me to the to the flow page, which could either be the landing page or the checkout page. But I'm concerned. Okay, this particular flow has a landing page, it has um, a checkout page, and it has a thank you page. So as you can see, it's telling me here to add product, no product assigned. But I won't be going through that stress of adding a product. Let me just come to settings here. Let me come to sandbox and enable test mode so this this test mode would allow cart flow to add products automatically to the checkout page itself you don't need to add products but in your own case when you when you are ready to set up the flow then you have to add the particular products you want to 
to um, appear on the checkout page but in this case it's going to be a random product so i've assigned it now let me click on view now the place order button should show the amounts it should show the amounts okay no product is selected oh sorry i guess i didn't save i didn't save save settings okay now let me refresh let me refresh oh boom as you can see look at this notification test mode is active okay okay i know i know as you can see now it's up as you can see it's here so if you have this problem yours would not display this amount the cut amount is only going to display place order and this lock so dash there that means there is a conflict somewhere something is conflicting something in this case now it's a plugin conflict your own could be the team plugin the major the major ones are um plugin conflicts and teams um conflicts you understand the other browser issue internet connectivity those ones those ones are not really major like that you understand so in your own case you'll be having this one this amount missing so once you just follow this step to deactivate all the plugins and you activate the um the ones that are important first to make sure the problem has been resolved which is um what's it called which is um the plugin conflict so i can be sure now that i've resolved the problem i'll now go back to my plugin and start activating the plugins one after the other till i get to the particular one that will bring up the conflict again so that means that particular plugin is conflicting the cart flow so you should decide for yourself which and which is the pointers. Is it the one conflicting the cash flow that is more important or the cash flow that is more important than the one conflicting the, the cash flow? So you know best, but in this case, I think I prefer to use my cash flow. I, I want to use it. It's of, um, um, it's of importance compared to the other plugin. So I'll go back and start enabling or activating the plugins one after the other but I, I wouldn't want to bore you with that now i think behind the videos i can start doing that so this video is just to show you this process and i want to believe it resolves your own issue as well so guys i remain Olushola daniel and this is how i bring updates for you as regards to woocommerce as regards website design as regards graphics design and as regards um facebook adverts so make sure you stay tuned and watch my videos i love you guys do always have a great time